what's going on? Lisa's is not supposed to be live today. Hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. Who's there? Hi. Hello. Don't move the mic down just a touch. Hi. Hi. Hello. 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 Hi. Hi, everybody. Oh, I can hear me. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. So, um, I've come to have a bit of a coffee talk with you. How's everyone doing? Hi. I'm a bit blurry. Am I blurry? Hi everyone, hi. Just give it one second just to sort itself out. I'm a little bit blurry in a minute, I don't know why. Hello. Hi. Hey, hi everybody. Hi. We're on a coffee talk. Are you ready? Hi everyone, hi. I'm gonna quickly share this and then we're gonna get on. Hi everyone, hi. Hello, hi, hello. Hi everyone. So, I'm just going to give you all a minute to log on and then we're going to have a talk, me and you. We're going to talk about different topics this week and every day we're going to, uh, well not every day, but every other day we're going to talk about something that I think is really important to talk about. And today, we're going to talk about stress, we're going to talk about managing stress, we're going to talk about the holidays and how to deal with family and friends and also when you do something new so like for example when you're taking on a new thing it's very difficult for people around you to understand um so we're going to start talking about that um if you need help with any of this we have a guide that we've put together that you can download it's completely free i've put the link so if you swipe these comments you'll see the link the link is there and you can download this guide and this guide is going to help you over the holiday period so it's going to help you with tips and tricks and things like that it's absolutely free okay so everything that we are talking about today you're going to be able to find information about that in this guide so hello hi so um what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about something that um i keep getting questions about all of the time so the thing we're going to talk about today is stress and changes and what happens when you start something new? So a lot of people out there don't want to get fit and healthy. They don't want to start something new because they're in a routine. So that routine might be that you go out every week, that you have a takeaway every weekend, um, that you know your family eat a certain way, but you want to make a change. So what this is going to do is it's going to mean that everybody around you is going to have to start understanding that you want to change and you want something to change. Now, that isn't going to be easy. The first time that I started doing what I did um, and I wanted to make a change and I wanted to change my diet, etc. and all of that, a lot of people around me, they, it, it took a long time for them to understand. And that can be hard for the closest people around you because people like you to stay the same. People like you to do the same thing. They like you to go out every Friday. They like you to make sure that you're doing the same things. They don't like to see change. People genuinely don't like change. So if you're looking to get fit and healthy and you want to change your diet, etc., it can be the people around you that are the hardest to convince. They're like, oh, you're getting too skinny. You're working out too much. Why are you eating this? Why don't you just eat like you normally did? Blah, blah, blah. A lot of people around you are going to struggle with that. So this is how I dealt with it. I actually was very honest with the people around me. So like friends and family and people like that. I actually said, look, this is important to me. This is something I really want to do. I really want to change the way I eat. I really want to change my diet. I want to get fit and healthy. I want to lose weight. I need you to help me. The worst thing you can do is not be honest with people because then they just see it as you're trying to change yourself. Invite people to join in. So if you're trying to do this and you've got family around you, let's say for example you're a mum or etc. If you've got family around you, invite them to join in. Invite them to be part of your new journey. Invite them to change the way they eat. Invite them to work out with you every single day because it's only going to make your life easier if you've got more support around you. Now, I know the holidays are very difficult because this leads you with temptation. So maybe during the holiday season, what we try to do here at Body Rock is we try to stay on track. We try to really make sure that we are getting our workouts in every day, that we're still eating the right food, etc. Um, <laughs> yeah, you still need to eat the right foods, etc. You still need to be making sure that you... Um, 
that you are staying on track um but it can be difficult when you go around to people's houses people can be like trying to you know have a certain food or they're getting drinks out and they might be trying to get you to drink they might be trying to get you to eat more food they might be trying to you know make you do things that you normally do well if you're trying to change your body and you're trying to stay fit and healthy those habits might not be able to be in your lifestyle anymore so again what i would recommend that you do is i recommend that you take your own food you say look i'm going to bring something i'm going to bring something that i can eat make enough for everybody so they can join in make people aware that you won't be drinking try and drive to occasions try to make sure that if you are going out anywhere that you make sure that you look ahead at the menu make sure that you're making good choices so then you don't have to feel like you're pressured into going along with the flow because unfortunately, you only need a couple of bad weekends to make you fall off the wagon and it can change everything. So we are honestly, I don't cheat very often. I, I genuinely don't cheat a lot. Like if I cheat, it'll be the odd piece of chocolate here and there. I'll have like a cheat meal um, once a week. So it'll be something that's, but it's still like, if I was, it would be a slice of pizza or something like that. It wouldn't be you know, it wouldn't be a massive cheat weekend or, and I don't drink. So, um, it's very easy for me because I am very honest with everybody around me. When they meet me, I'll be saying, look, I don't drink. I don't eat that. I don't eat that. Um, this is the things I can eat. These are the things that I enjoy to eat. And it, and it, I like to be that way. I don't want to go out and, and feel like I'm pressured into eating things that I don't normally eat because it makes me feel rubbish. And I've got to get up the next day and I've got to work out the next day. Hello, everybody. So um, what we're talking about is how to stay on track. Now, if you need help with that, I've put you a guide together and it's actually in the comments and it's absolutely free. And this guide is going to help you stay on track. It's going to help you um help you with all the holiday festivities so it's got loads of recipes in there etc and the link is just above this video so if you want to download the free guide it's completely free it's like got loads of tips how to keep control over the holiday season uh, the holiday season um so yeah um so if you're going out and you're going around you know to friends and family and you get that initial go on have a drink go on you it's okay but you only live once it's christmas i need to remind you that over the festive period you can gain between five and ten pounds just by doing normal activities just by changing what you normally do so let's say for example you're still working out but you're taking part in the festivities over the weekend and you're going you're just eating the regular stuff and you're just going out and you're having a few drinks you can gain up to five to ten pounds just over the holiday period and what for what for like what is that for is that going to make you feel better it's not going to make you feel better it's going to make you feel horrible it's going to make you feel lousy it's going to make you feel like like you've stepped backwards when we've worked so hard over the year to stay on track to make sure that we are hi hi Hi, hi Melissa. So we've worked so hard over the year to stay on track, to get our workouts in, to make sure that we're eating right, to make sure that we're following this diet. Christmas and the winter time is the hardest time to stay on track. So making your life harder by putting yourself into situations or if you want to change and you want to make this Christmas your Christmas, that you're going to change the way that you work out, you're going to change the way that you eat, you're going to change the way that you do, you know, all of that then you're going to have to make some serious sacrifices. And those sacrifices, you can either see as a negative or you can see it as a positive. So when I go out, hit for example, when I go out, I will go out to a restaurant. I don't think it's Christmas I should be allowed to eat that food. I could eat it if I want to, but I don't think of it that way because I don't see food as a... Um, as a treat i don't see food or drink or getting absolutely wasted or eating an excessive amount of food as a good thing now a lot of people over the christmas period think oh, i eat as many chocolates as i want it's christmas blah 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 i don't see that as as a bonus i see that as a negative because all you're doing is you're putting so much on your body in such a short period of time that your body can't handle it it's going to end up going the opposite way. It's going to end up putting weight on. And that's why everybody always goes into Christmas and the new year feeling heavier. And that's why they always have the 
1st of January, I'm going to start then, everything's going to be great, and they're all heavy, and they're going to get off the pan, and then the 1st of January is the first week, they're on it, and then the second week it hits them, and they're off it, and by February, you're back to normal, but you're £10 heavier. So what I recommend is you follow what we are advising. Download the guide that we've put in our, uh, that I've put in the, um, that I've put in my, uh, above this video, in the description. There's a free guide. You can download it and you can, uh, and you can, uh, hello, and you can follow all of the different tips that are going to help you over the Christmas period and it's going to help you stay on track. It's going to keep you focused, okay? So this is how I deal with the holidays. First of all, I don't drink, so that is a massive thing. Alcohol is so calorific. It's really, really calorific. So in the guide, it's going to help you with things like that. So when you go around to places, you can take drink that you know you can drink. So for example, I've asked Sean before, and he says anything that's like see-through or a white spirit, that's your lowest calorie. So something like gin or vodka, that's the best way to go if you are going to drink, okay? So in the guide, it's going to help you with that as well. So you know which drinks to take to wherever you're going. Or when you're out, you'll know which drinks to take. Now, if you are drinking and you do want to drink, what I would recommend is you have one drink, one water, one drink, one water. Pace it out. There's no need to get absolutely shit-faced. It doesn't do you any good. Like, just because it's Christmas and you want to let your hair down, it's actually a really heavy, negative thing to put all that on your body in sh such a short period of time. Now, I know a lot of you out there are like, oh, it's Christmas, I'm going to have a drink. Okay, that's fine. Have a drink, but do it in moderation because that's the only way you're going to see changes. If you want to stay fit and healthy and you want to keep the weight off, you have to stay the same way as you were the whole year. You can't just go bullet a gate and just start ploughing the drinks every weekend and expect you to stay in the same condition because that's not going to happen. It's going to make you feel really lousy. You're going to feel like you're not going to want to train. You're going to feel quite lethargic. So all of that comes with just drinking alcohol. Then you've got food to deal with. So you're in situations where food is going to be there, you're going to be tempted, maybe there's a buffet. Buffets are the worst. The buffet is the worst, okay? The buffet, in my opinion, is like having five or six meals in one go. Like, you would never eat as much food as you do on the buffet. And most of the food on a buffet is very bad for you. Like, it's all white bread, it's all spring rolls, it's all, <laughs> it's all the things that you would never normally eat, you would never normally put in your body. So again, these are moments where you need to really think clever. Are you going to be going to a party that's going to be serving food that you know you cannot eat because that's not going to help with your goals? because you're focused, you can have a good time, I'm the last one off the dance floor, like don't get me wrong, Christmas is awesome, it's my favourite time of year, it doesn't mean that I have to go into Christmas and come out the other side five pound heavier, I want to come out the other side feeling amazing, going into the new year feeling awesome, that's what we do here, that's what we, that's our goal, our goal is to go into the new year feeling amazing and that's what we do, we work out with all of our body rockers, we make sure all of their food is on point, we keep them focused right the way through new year, right the way through Christmas because it's not worth it. It's food. It's just food. It's food and it's drink and it's an excess that you don't need to be plowing into your bodies. The only reason we do it is because we get carried away with the season. And until you've got somebody like me whispering in your ear, seriously, it's not worth it. You, sometimes you forget. Sometimes, you know, let's say for example, you get up, you have your breakfast, everything's good. You get to work, somebody's brought some chocolates in because it's Christmas, you have a few chocolates. Then you're in your... Um, biscuits because somebody's bought biscuits and you have a few biscuits already you're eating way more than you would normally do if you were trying to stay on track you do that seven days a week then we've got an issue at the weekends we're going out to the christmas parties we're having more alcohol than we usually have we're eating more food than we usually have we've already had the same amount of food in the day and now we're going out and we're eating and we're drinking more food this is a problem especially if you're trying to stay on track so I need to really dr r like really drill it into you that we want you to stay healthy over the Christmas period and we want you to be going into the new year having an amazing time, like the best Christmas ever. And the best way you can have the best Christmas is to feel good on the inside, not just on the outside. If you feel good on the inside, you will feel amazing on the outside, I promise you. Going into Christmas and the new year feeling sexy in your body is the best gift you can give yourself. So if I go out, for example, and I know that I'm going to be eating in a place that doesn't serve anything I can eat, I will eat my dinner before I go. So I'm not hungry. So when I get there, I'm not 
really hungry. Have you ever been shopping when you're hungry? Have you ever tried to grocery shop when you're hungry? It's the worst. So if you are going out anywhere and you're trying to keep on track, maybe put a few really good protein bars in your bag to keep you going. If you feel like you can't honestly give in. Maybe have your food before, or maybe if you can prep your food, prep your food, take it with you. If there's a, you know, somewhere you can go. But don't worry about what other people are thinking. Don't worry about what other people think about your life choices. There might be friends and family who don't understand it. If you've explained to them that this is something that you want to do for you, and you want to stay on track, and unfortunately you can't eat there, or if you're going out for a, a Christmas meal, say to them, you know, I'm going to eat before and I'll meet you later or I'll come but I will need to make sure that I can eat something off the menu. Don't feel bad for wanting to be healthy. This is not something that you have to feel bad about. If you're going out and you're with friends and family etc, they should want that for you. They should want you to feel healthy. They should want you to be happy and healthy and feeling good about yourself. You don't have to drink because everybody else is drinking. You don't have to eat the food that everybody else is eating. They may not understand your journey. They may not want to join in with you. They may not support you, but this has to be from you. This has to be something that you are adamant that you want to do. So I need you to honestly think about it. There was a time when I would worry so much. I'd be like, oh no, but she's eating that, so I'll eat that. Oh, you know, they're gonna think I'm a square because I don't drink. And they do. There's loads of people I've met who go, I never trust a person who doesn't drink. It doesn't affect me at all. It doesn't, and, and the people around me get used to it. They get used to you, you know, eating a certain way. And even better, if you can join people in, like friends and family, you will not just be changing you, you'll be changing everybody around you. So if you really, really want to make a change, if you want to make sure that you are not gonna add those extra pounds over the Christmas period, what I want you to do, is I want you to slide this um, comments box or go above this video and click the link because that link is going to have a guide in it, loads of information about how you can help stay focused over the Christmas period because what we do here is we don't just work out, we make sure that we're every day reinforcing that you need to stay on track, you need to be strong, you need to make sure that you are constantly thinking about not giving in because it's very easy, it's so easy to just not realize that you're having a few extra calories here and there every single day and before you know it jeans are starting to feel a bit tight i get the same thing i put a pair of jeans on tonight that were that weren't these ones and they felt tight and i was like whoa hmm now i know a lot of that's got to do with the fact that i'm building a bit more muscle but a lot of it's got to do with the fact that i have been <laughs> partaking in quite a bit of nut butter lately so that needs to be done and that needs to be reined in and it's things like that that will help you things like me coming on here right now it's going to help reinforce you so maybe tomorrow for work you're not going to have the extra biscuits with your cup of tea you're not going to have the chocolates that somebody brings into the office okay so if there are people around you that don't understand what i would recommend that you do is you go onto facebook you go into the group section and you type in the body rock insider and the body rock insider is a massive group of people who are all trying to change their body change their lifestyle keep on track stay fit and healthy and they're all like you and they will be your support network when other people around you don't understand. I can promise you there will be people, if you want to change and you want to stay on track this Christmas and New Year, there are going to be people that are like, just one drink, just one this, just one that. I always say to people, if you were offering me a cigarette right now, or a fag as we would call it here, if you're offering me a cigarette, you won't be like, just take a drag, just take a drag. Because it's seen as something very different to, just have a drink, just have a drink. To me, it's that's as offensive like I don't drink and that's my choice and if you don't if you don't respect that then that's that's something you have to deal with I'm not I'm not asking you your permission if I if it's okay for me not to drink this is how I choose to live and I choose to live this way because I, I, I want to be fit and healthy and I want to live a long life and I want my body to be fit and, and as fit and healthy as possible Yes, have a glass of wine if you want to, etc. But you don't have to get absolutely sloshed every single Christmas party. You don't have to be going to the excess. Because it honestly, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. When you get back to Monday and you feel rubbish, Monday's a write-off, Tuesday's a write-off, you're back on it Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you're back to the party in. And it's just a vicious circle that you cannot, cannot get out of. And then you end up having to detox in January. What if you didn't have to detox in January? What if... January came around and you for once in your life, I know you're listening to me, but what if for once in your life you didn't have to say, 
1st of January, I'm on it. What if that was a thing this year? What if you had that moment where you're like, I don't need to do 1st of January because I've done it all the way through Christmas and New Year and I've kept on it and I'm actually in better shape now than I was before New Year started. So when all of those people are in the gym feeling sluggish and rubbish, you are so on it and you are still feeling great and you are still getting your workouts in. We can help you with that. The guide is going to help you with that. So just swipe the comments or go above this video. There's a, a link. Just click that link and you will get the guide and it will help you with all of that. And then we can help you with your daily workouts. We can get you on track. We can help you with your diet and we can keep you focused. Not just now, not just this moment, but all year, every day, 365 days a year. I'm going to be here and I will help you with that. I promise. <sighs> Sadly, I'm enough fun without drinking. Yeah, me too. I don't drink. I think this, it's getting very popular that people don't drink. Like, it's more and more popular that people actually don't drink. I've noticed that there's a lot of people out there that don't drink anymore, which is awesome. I'm on it. I'm usually better during these holidays. How, how I see the holidays, I see winter as there's nothing else to do. It's miserable. I'm not getting my body out. So I can just wear layers and layers and layers of clothing and I can just train and you should just lock it down and just train because then when the summer comes all of the hard work is done fitness is a bit like it's got to be consistent absolutely 100% but if you want to lock it down winter is the best time you are not doing anything there's nothing else to do when it's dark outside instead of saying oh I'm tired I'm going to bed why don't you say oh, bore this off, I'm going to do a workout, I'm going to get lock it down, get the lights on, get your music on, get your workout in and just keep pounding away every single day because when summer comes you will thank your lucky stars that you locked it down in the winter, that you kept on track during Christmas and New Year when everybody else on the 1st of Jan is feeling gross and they do feel gross, they feel absolutely disgusting. I, I talk to people all of the time that do that, 1st of Jan, yeah this is it and then a week goes and they've tried to keep it on for a week and it's just it's just too much you can't you can't go from this to this excess excess to then training every day your body just can't cope with it so how about this year we don't do that how about this year we go into the christmas and new year period staying on track staying consistent avoiding the drinks that we should avoid doing everything in moderation but still having fun but not going to the extent that you normally go to and I know there's some people out there going oh god I'm not listening to you you don't know what you're talking about it's Christmas it's the only time of year I get to have off a blah 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 I can promise you this conversation on the 1st of Jan will come into your head and you will think god why didn't I just do that why didn't every day I give myself an hour one hour of my day to do my workout which makes me feel amazing and everything I wear looks amazing throughout the Christmas period why didn't I just eat moderation and stick to my diet and just, you know, have an odd treat here and there, maybe at the weekends have a bit of a pudding or maybe have a glass of wine on the weekends just to, you know, to celebrate the Christmas period, give myself a bit of a break, I've been working hard all year, I deserve some kind of treat. That's very different to, I'm just going to go and get shit face this weekend, you know, shoe off, being sick going out to the Christmas parties, lying on the sofa the next day because you're so gross, because your body just cannot take that level of abuse when you've been on it all week. Now, for those of you out there that are watching me right now going, I have no idea what you're talking about, I can guarantee that if you started with me tomorrow, so let's say Monday, if you start with me tomorrow and every single day you give me one workout, your body by Christmas Day will be better than you've ever had, I promise you. And all you need to do is swipe, download the guide, follow the guide, and then come and join us. We have an app called Sweatflix. You can join us in there. We'll give you 30 days for free, so that'll take you all the way up to Christmas. We'll give you 30 days for free, and you can train with me every single day, and I will get you in the best shape of your life. And you will go into the new year feeling absolutely amazing. For once, let's kick this on its head, and let's do it differently. Let's not go into the new year feeling rubbish. Let's take 2013 back to... 2018 by the balls and go into the new year feeling amazing that's what we want from you okay so the link is above this video or if you swipe the comments i think it comes up there but it is actually above this video so 
what we're going to do this Christmas and New Year, we're going to bring you loads of workouts all the way up to Christmas and New Year again, just like we did last year. So every day you're going to get your workout. Every day we're going to be checking in. Every day we're going to be keeping you on track. And you are going to get in the best shape of your life. Because I promise you, if you do some exercise every day and your diet is right, which that guide is going to help you with, you will lose weight. I promise. It's just how it how it works. It's like a happy accident. And if you don't believe me, go onto Instagram right now, type in Body Rock, go and check out the thousands of Body Rockers that have got babies, that are 50 plus, that are teenagers, that are doing it in couples. Go and check them out, go and see them, and go and see that they do it from home, and they're burning eight, 500 to 800 calories in their living room every day with one workout from us. One workout, that's it. An hour of the day, 800 calories, at the park, smashing it. And do you know what that's going to do? It's going to make their new year amazing. It's going to make when them bells go, ding, 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 you're not like, oh, now I've got to lose all this weight. Oh, God, I feel gross. It's not going to be like that. They're going to be like, I have killed my workout every day. I feel awesome. I feel good. I'm glowing. And it's going to be amazing. I promise you, all of these people here, like Annabelle, who's posting now, honestly, it's amazing. It's cheaper than a good coffee every month after the 30 days if you want to stay on. It's that cheap. And there are thousands of workouts for body rock, for babies. If you're pregnant, there's, there's workouts in there. If you're pregnant, if you've just had a baby, there's workouts in there. If you want something that's really hardcore, there's master trainers from Barry's Boot Camp in Los Angeles. They're in there. I'm in there. Don't even deny that my workouts will push you to your limits. I might just look like a, just a tiny little girl, but I will take you to your limit. Sean's in there. There's loads of other trainers in there waiting to train with you right in your living room. All you need to do is press play. There are no excuses on our platform. We don't take the fact that we don't have equipment as an excuse. We don't take them because there are body weight workouts in there that you can do. If you don't have a space to train, you can train in a space that's as big as your arms. So as long as you have a space in your house that you can stretch your arms out, you can train with us. You can burn 800 calories with us. If you can stretch your arms out in a, in a room in your house, you can train with us. That's it. There are no excuses. So we're going to get you in the best shape of your life and we're going to make sure that you are focused all the way through Christmas, all the way through the holidays, all the way through New Year, and you can download the free guide and that's going to help keep you on track. Has anybody got any questions? Anyone? Anyone got any questions? I'm going to see if I can post the link just here. Hi. Here it is. I'm just posting the link now. So that's the link just there that I've just posted. Has anyone got any questions? Hi. Mm. Yes, Annabelle. Thank you for um Thank you for replying, Annabelle. That's awesome of you. A lot of these people that are replying right now are body rockers and they're awesome. They're amazing. Hello, Reese. Hi. Do you like my hat? That's what I look like without my hat. I'm rocking the hat today, though. I'm rocking the hat. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's the best workout to do with you? Elizabeth, it depends. Um, as you get to know our body rockers um, and as you get to know me as a trainer or anybody, if you pick in, let's say, for example, you pick in me as your trainer, you'll know that <laughs> my workouts are very different. We'll go from resistance training to skipping to strength training. Personally, my favorite workouts are the pyramid workouts, the eight times eight workouts, the workouts that are hard, heavy, got high reps, and they really push you outside your comfort zone. They're my favourite workout workouts for sure. I do have a cheat meal. Um, my cheat meal is, let's say for example today, for example, I went out and I had a coffee and I had a granola bar with my coffee. And you know, throughout the day, I've had little bits and bobs that I want to have, like treats, little little cakes and things. So that uh, I would class as my cheat day. Um, I don't generally cheat all the time. If I've really, really worked hard and trained really hard, then I'll say, oh, I've, I've earned that. And I can have a little bit of something, like a bit of chocolate, etc. But generally, what is a pyramid? I'll tell you in a minute. Um, but generally, I don't, I try not to cheat too much because I know how hard it is. Um, especially getting older, it gets a lot harder. So if you're, say, under 30, you'll probably be able to eat whatever you want. I did. Uh, once you get to my age, unfortunately, you have to kind of lock it down a little bit more. A pyramid workout is we do... 10, 
15, 20, then we do 20, 15, 10 of so many exercises, or 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 15, 5, 10. So it's, it goes up in numbers and then it comes down in numbers. <sighs> Thanks, Melissa. There is, An Annabelle's all over it. She's like our PR. We should be paying you, Annabelle. Hi, everyone. Hi. Has anybody got any questions about sweat flicks? I oh, know. <laughs> <sighs> hired a knee replacement in may okay um, we have bodyweight workouts that you can do we've got a um, beginner workout so we can we can really work on your flexibility mobility etc so if you want to go into sweat flicks and you want to have a look we can start you right from the bottom work on your flexibility work on your function skills and we can take you right up to advanced hello joe good morning we're talking about staying on track joe through new year and christmas and uh, just letting people know that the guide is there for them. I did your Thursday week today. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. That's amazing. Hi, Krista. Hi. Hi, Karen. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Thank you so much. So has anybody else got any questions? So again, if you are struggling to stay on track, if you're struggling, I just joined last week. Yes, Emma, welcome aboard. Emma, are you in the uh, Body Rock Insider page by any chance? I hope so, because I want to see your pictures. Hello, you're welcome. We're, you're welcome. Everybody loves eight times eight, and everybody loves pyramids. I'm 46, mom, full time. Does it get hard? One thing for me, invest in me. That's absolutely up. That's right, Annabelle, and you kick ass every single day. Hi, Melissa. So I got told today that me and Sean are going to keep you focused through Christmas and New Year like we did last year. So if anybody who's watching right now does not know what that means, it means all the way through Christmas and New Year. We're going to keep you on track with workouts every single day, which is amazing. There is nobody in the world, no DVD, no celebrity, no person you will find on the internet will give you a workout like we give you a workout every single day. It just doesn't happen. Like, there is no one. Show me a person that's going to give you sometimes two hour workouts every single day. Sometimes there's two of us on the website, on the Facebook every single day, giving you an hour workout. And not only that, in the Sweatflix app, you've got all of those other challenges and workouts and everything going on as well. There is nobody, no one is doing it. So you cannot grumble about this because it's the best thing you will ever do because we will honestly keep you on track. It's like having a personal trainer in your living room. The only difference is I can't touch you. But if I could, I would. If I could jump through the screen into your living room and shout at you physically, I would, but I can't. So what I do is I shout at you through the screen every day. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> I come on and I genuinely shout at you and then I, we have a little bit of mutual hate for each other because I'm dying and you're dying and we then we get through to the end and then we all have high fives and we love each other again. And then we do it all over again. Again. so yeah that's it like it's that good <laughs> ah. Tammy that's all diet to get abs just like me I've got I've got fat look I've got fat abs is low body fat that's it that's all it is it's low body fat so you need to check your diet so maybe like me you overindulge in too many carbs too much peanut butter too many fats check your diet if you're struggling download my fitness pal Check every single day and look where you're, miss where you're going wrong and make sure that you're eating, especially enough fibre. Nobody tells anybody the importance of fibre, like green vegetables. Make sure, if you are struggling to get your fibre in, add some psyllium husks to your daily routine. Fibre is one of the best things I take. When I eat a lot of veg, when I eat a lot of salads, when I eat a lot of veg, green veg, I notice I'm so much leaner because I'm on it and my body has got fibre and it's working so much better. So if you're struggling, give yourself a couple of weeks where every day you're including a green vegetable in your meals and you will see a change, I promise. I always love you even when I'm dying, we die a lot. <laughs> like I'm not going to come on here and say this is going to be the easiest journey that you've ever had, I promise you it won't be, because we could do anything. Like I can turn up on your screen every single day and we will do many different random things and some of them might be out of your league and some of them you might not be able to do but we still do it we still give it a good go and you will get better and you will learn and you'll practice and we will get strong together and we will fall over together I fell over just last week like for real it's as real as it gets you're welcome tammy how many grams of fiber i just make sure that every meal i have 
I have green vegetables, so it, whether, whether it's spinach, whether it's cauliflower, whether uh, not cauliflower, whether it's uh, broccoli, whether it's um, peas, um, green beans, something like that. Just try and get a big, I have at least a fist's worth of, um, of greens every day. It is tough. It's called My Fitness Pal. It's an app and it's amazing and it will help you understand food like nothing else. It's very easy. Anywhere you go to eat, like it also i need to put a disclaimer that my fitness pal also ruins everything for you as well <laughs> like it ruins everything it ruins wagamama's for you it ruins nando's for you it ruin it ruins everywhere basically because when you type in the restaurant it brings up all the calories and it's hot it's like when you go to your favorite restaurant and they've put all the calories on the menu all of a sudden <laughs> That thing, you know, like the keg does if you come from Toronto. Like the keg now puts its its calories on the menu and it's just spoiled the whole thing. It's spoiled the whole experience for me because the thing I used to have is now the thing I avoid. It literally spoils. So my fitness pal, as great as it is, because it's going to make you understand food, it's also going to spoil everything. <laughs> but it'll keep you on track. But yeah, like no more will you be like, oh, peanut butter. You'll be like, oh, can't have that again <laughs> i definitely can't have that so yeah you will um you'll enjoy it and you'll hate it all at the same time bit like bit like us like every <laughs> fine whenever i eat greens diet i'm very gr joanne that's because you're probably doing it for a while and then stopping doing it for a while then stopping doing it for a while then stopping you need to be consistent with it um try uh Try taking a probiotic, a really good one, a really good one, not like a rubbish one. Go and pay a decent amount of money for a probiotic because it might just be that you just need help digesting it. I'll never eat the big mushrooms again. You see? Completely spoils it. I went into my Wagamama's and I just started using my fitness pal because it had just come out. This was like three years ago. Just come out. I went into Wagamama's and I was typing it in. I was like, oh, let's see if Wagamama's has any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that ser is it seriously eight hundred calories for that? Oh my god! But really? I'm not having that. <laughs> Scroll. Can't have that. Scroll. I can't have that. I can't have those two because that's like a thousand calories. That's all my calories I've already eaten today. Like you literally, all of a sudden, it becomes very real. So, <laughs> so yeah. Yogurt. Yeah, yogurt's brilliant. Yeah, yogurt can help with that. Yeah. I did have microblading on my eyebrows. I had the other one done yesterday, so they're a little bit dark at the minute, um, mainly because when I'm training, I don't have any eyebrows left by the time we've got into, say, round four. Because <laughs> by round four, I'm sweating, and I wipe my face, and then my eyebrows are gone. <laughs> ah, smoothies are an eye-opener. Smoothies are definitely an eye Smoothies, for me, are one of those things that people think they're being healthy, but they're just not. Like, you go to those places, and they're like, oh, blended smoothies. And then when you look, and you actually read the menu and see, some of them contain, like, 26 grams of sugar. For real, 26 grams of sugar. Who is drinking that? And who is who is making that and saying that's a protein smoothie? That's like eating bags and bags and bags of sweets. I tell you. So if you need help with that, download My Fitness Pal. It will be really good. It's called My Fitness Pal, and it's got like a barcode on it as well, and you can barcode all your feet, all your food. So again, if you want help with your food and your diet, swipe, go, get above this video. There's a link to a free guide. You can click the free guide. You can download it straight to your phone, and it'll help you with food. It'll help you with drink. It'll help you stay on track. It'll help you with motivation. It'll help you through the holiday season, and it's right there. Steak and broccoli. I love steak and broccoli. I am the worst, like Freddie and Sean think I'm mental because I'm like, can you just do me the steak with no sauce, no butter, <laughs> just with a side of asparagus? And like on the menu, it would be like steak with mushrooms and such as such, 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 like 20 things. And I'm like, I don't, I don't want all that. Can I just have those two things on a plate? And they're like, why have you come out? I'm like, I have come out because I like to come out, but I don't want to eat this because this is a 2000 calorie meal. Surrendous. Hello. It is Victoria. It is an eye opener. It's one of those things that it's like you have now become. But it is good for you. Like now it's changed the way I eat. It's changed how I look at food. So it is good. You're welcome, Tim. 
You're welcome. So I'm going to go because it's getting quite late here. Um, I am going to see you tomorrow on the Facebook pages, 3 p.m. EST or 8 p.m. UK for our workout. Uh, it's going to be reps. We're going to do a reps week. And uh, if you want help with your diet, if you want help with staying on track, we have got a free, completely free, we have made it for you to stay on track guide it's above this video so when this video finishes in a minute just click that link go to get the guide it's completely free and we will help keep you on track and you can join in and you will not find anywhere on the internet that will give you a free workout like we do every day we are going to be in your living room every single day taking you through christmas and new year and making sure that you go into the new year feeling and feeling in the best shape of your life okay we're doing reps this week we're going to do a rep week and uh, i'll see you tomorrow see you guys bye Bye-bye.